So yesterday we were speaking uh, about uh, the table multi headings and uh, the fixing of uh, the table columns, table rows, uh, table footer row, right? And uh, the yes. table uh, scroll didn't work properly. Uh, the yeah. column. Okay. So I have created a new one. Okay. So that is it. The uh, table. Uh, this is the one. I have created a new one with uh, multi uh, headers. Okay. See multi. Okay. okay. And uh, the two dimension one. Dim uh, the the, the single uh, dimension having four uh, four columns having a single column main column okay dimensions the dimension can be with the depth the height and the unit okay so and uh, product product can have product name and product id rate can be in price and currency so i have made uh, multi headers in this way okay and you see that the first two columns are fixed and the next comes scrolling so didn't that last time it didn't work properly right so i have created from the scratch okay and okay. also you okay. see that the first two rows are fixed and the last footer is fixed and the middle comes scroll okay, okay. and uh, this is the standard sap one where you see that uh, contact is you have a three level one okay where uh, address phone cities uh, state have a common uh, header called contact and the state and city has a common uh, header called address a common column called address okay and the address and phone has a common column called contact okay so how to get this okay so let us go to the view uh, and controller okay i have used that example okay so you see that the table data contacts is there right so i have used that that data okay so i have a model okay and i have used the sample data okay supply a state city phone okay and uh, i have uh, set that uh, data to the view okay so and you see how many uh, columns are how many columns are then main totally zero one two three right yeah three columns uh, four columns are there okay so in yeah. this example okay so i have uh, uh, made the uh, span for uh, span the columns for um, three to one okay so i have the id multi header okay so let me go to the view okay so this you see that for the first column it contains only a single column no, no, not this one down this is the contacts okay so contacts it contains columns and in the column you have one main column without any id multi header okay and then you have one two three okay three columns okay in this you see uh, it was mentioned it was using a tag called multi labels previously i didn't use that multi labels column okay everywhere so i need to use every multi labels column okay and then uh, for the next one i have used multi labels how many columns i uh, columns i have so i have i use contact address street okay and then um, contact address city okay in the next label in the next column 
I've used multi labels and uh, I don't I don't need the multi ID multi header again. It will be become du duplicate and I, this one is enough for me to do the manipulation. Okay, so and again here uh, template is same. Okay, if you compare both and next one is the uh, phone and you see I have used contact and phone only. I have didn't use any other uh, variable because uh, I need the multi header like a contact address and phone and in the address I need street and city. That's why you see here uh, contact address city, contact address street and the next one I need contact phone. Okay. So what the trick is here is after giving the multi header I need to set the span 3 to 1. Okay. So if I set the span 3 to 1 I get like this. Okay. I get the things like this. So it spans suppose if I remove this 3 to 1 and I just save it you will see the difference that it doesn't uh, come properly. Okay, you see contact and it spanned two columns. Okay, so that's why you see contact address address city street and then you see address two times and contact four. Okay, you see contact two times. So in order to avoid that one, since we are using three columns, so we need to put three to one. So it spans. Okay, if I say three, two. So okay, it uh, we got the thing correctly only, but uh, the correct thing here we need to use is three, two, one. Okay, so, uh, first one it uh, spans three columns okay one two three okay second thing two it spans this one and this one okay so that's why you see two columns and next uh, one means it doesn't uh, span anything okay so it also works but it's better to have three two one three means first one it spans three columns and there will be it looks like a one okay Next one is 2 means it spans 2 columns okay and it spans 2 columns okay and then 1 means it, it doesn't uh, 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 like it in a normal one okay so if you don't give that 1 also it works okay 3 to 1 it implies span 3 columns span 2 columns span 1 column so one column one column is uh, no need okay so in this one uh, this is the one okay but this is a standard one which is SAP given so I have used uh, to span uh, um, uh, two level okay but with the different things okay so dimension is with the depth the height okay and with the unit okay four four things are here and product name and ID so how to use this one okay so I have used this mock data, uh, copied that mock data previously which we have used. So we have that in this product.json. Okay, and use this product collection. Okay, so and in the controller, okay, I said I said I created another model. Okay, and uh, got this uh, uh, data from mock data folder, and then product.json okay fine okay so and i have created a table called table 2 in view 1 okay you see table 2 products okay multi toggle rows is a slash product collection okay and you see columns and uh, i need to specify it as a multi label everywhere okay so previously I didn't mention everywhere multi labels that was a major issue. So if you are using multi labels, you need to uh, specify multi labels everywhere. 
okay so for the first column we don't i didn't use uh, multi uh, i didn't uh, use an id okay but uh, then uh, and uh, for weight also i didn't use any my, my, uh, for multi headers like that okay but for uh, the next things i have used the multi header so multi header one okay so in this one i have put a dimension and width okay next dimension depth two labels dimension height dimension unit okay and then i used a multi header two so to display the product name and product id so here i use id as multi header two okay and the label as product and name okay and next column uh, next column with the product and id okay so the third one is the multi header 3 with uh, which displays the rate uh, which includes price and currency code okay so if you see the output you see product name and id rate price and currency dimension four co columns okay so for this i set that view id so, okay so view is o view is this dot get view okay so by id multi header one dot set to span four comma one so span four columns okay so next one is multi header two so that one is it contains two columns so i said span two comma one so that's why for these two columns you have one column product such as there is no uh, column on the top for the product okay so if you see here also for dimension i said four comma one so it spans this all the four columns and it comes one okay that is called column span and that uh, numbering thing can you tell me one more time i just didn't get the uh, okay suppose yeah suppose i don't mention any numbering here okay i refresh okay so what will you see you see dimension width dimension depth dimension height it 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 what's repeated right it got repeated i i have commented that id okay for every multi label i have come given that uh, multi uh, id okay so for you see here in the view one okay for the first column for the which where the multi uh, id the dimension yeah you see for the when for the first column for with where the multi header starts i have given id okay and later i didn't give that one okay but i have repeated the labels you see that label dimension with the label dimension depth label dimension height uh, and label dimension unit so there are four columns right right danny yeah, four columns. Yeah, so to have, I don't want dimension to repeat every time. Right, so what I need to do is, I need to get the ID of that column. Okay, and I need to say, set header span, four comma one. Okay, so when I say four comma one, the dimension of the first this uh, header thing will be jumbled into a one one column and you will see the dimension uh, is coming uh, centered and it doesn't repeat dimension width the dimension depth the dimension height dimension unit right Just unmute for five minutes. Uh, okay, so I can hear your answer. Sorry. 
yeah you understood right now yeah got it okay for product span also id so i said this a similar way and now if i say mm -hmm. here in this case i need to span two columns okay for the dimension for the header thing only not the entire thing so i say two comma one okay so now you see this uh, product or instead of two products i get only one product header for these two columns okay and for the rate as well once i uncomment this 2 comma 1 so it you have rate with the price and currency code 1 okay got it yeah yeah now got it okay Okay. Now regarding this uh, fixed row count, fixed uh, uh, footer count, and uh, the fixed column count, let's see that. So in the view, okay, just we need to mention these uh, three attributes: fixed column count, fixed row count, or fixed bottom row count. So if you say fixed bottom row count equal to two. Two last rows will be fixed. Okay. Suppose you want to have so uh, we want to have uh, let's see two, and you see the output. Okay. I fixed a, a row, fixed column count as one. Okay, and a fixed row count on the top also one. So you click refresh. Okay, you see now the weight has uh, been adjusted, or the weight will column is now not fixed. Only the supplier name column is fixed, and the scroll we can scroll. When we scroll, the supplier name is fixed, and the other things get scrolled. Okay, and I said that uh, uh, very, very best screen like for. for row count fixed means i have put one so if one row is fixed and row count bottom i have put two so and i'm scrolling only the content in the middle gets changed but not the uh, for starting and the ending why we put this one is because see suppose there are so much of data okay and uh, i want something like uh, uh, i don't want a fixed uh, row count uh, so let me put zero but i want bottom one to be um, one okay that is because suppose i have some total uh, some numbers here okay and last one should be like a total thing and all the total should appear okay for the width the depth the height suppose if there is a currency here we have currency right so we have currency here so i want some currency uh, total total price okay so in that case uh, i can have this uh, total printed down right okay so i can do some manipulations and i can add a column to this one okay say uh, add all the rows of the price and i display it here okay so i can manipulate it okay so a client may ask like that okay so that's uh, how to do that why that's why we fix it rows sometimes okay. so i will send you this uh, multi-header um, code to you okay, don't worry about that one okay 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 Okay, so that's uh, let's have this uh, for our tables. Okay, now we, we have learned about SAP UI5 UI common table and SAP M dot table, right? So 
today let's go to the next uh, thing okay that is um, uh, value state okay value state is or some uh, we'll discuss about the messages to display other message types okay so here you see the name okay if i don't enter anything and click submit entering the so this is the wrong sound let me take another one navigation Let me tell you about the messages. Okay, message box. SAP UFI explode. Okay, so let's go to message message box. Okay. So we have the message box. Okay, so let's see what are the different messages we have. Okay, so when I click uh, like uh, if you are uh, um deleting some items okay so it will uh, you will see in the shopping uh, like when you are uh, when you go to flip cart and you have selected some items and when you are trying to delete an item you will get a confirm message are you sure you want to delete that uh, right so that's uh, how we yeah. confirm uh, works so confirmation so confirmation will always have two buttons okay and cancel okay if you click uh, okay it will delete it otherwise it will if you click cancel the item will not get deleted okay so alert okay so alert means it needs to alert the user that uh, um, a, like a, there you for uh, sometimes uh, when you're trying to buy a mobile online and if you say put a quantity two, okay they will say that uh, for for user only one quantity okay so that is an alert message that you cannot enter more than two character two two you cannot buy two mobiles at a time so please enter quantity leave the quantity as one okay so you can now uh, alert the message error okay so suppose uh, uh, you have a like the, you have the last name okay name field and in this if you we can put alert as error alert or error okay but uh, if you have this uh, oh, yeah, user didn't uh, enter some numbers in the name field okay so you can display it as an uh, alert or you can display uh, that uh, the input field uh, cannot contain uh, numbers as an error message okay so info you can display the if you want if the user click submit and or some other thing and you want to display the message as information then you can use this in a message box as a, a info okay and warning okay in sap you see these things like right? my success uh, um, warning success error information so likewise uh, here also they have put okay in sap ui5 okay so warning so uh, Warning is not that serious, right? So it might, uh, it is not an error, but uh, it is an um, like a user, some kind of precaution thing, right? So warning, okay, success. If the database, if the you have created the cart and you have submitted the cart, if it is success, you will get a success message that, yeah, your cart is, you, we, we are uh, dispatching, the, your cart has been built and we are dispatching the, your cart, okay, or your cart has been saved to the database, like that messages we can have, okay, so these are, these are the confirm, uh, these are the message box, okay, there are other uh, actions as well, uh, 
okay so you can have some more buttons okay so in the uh, previous uh, error you see only one button okay you can if you want to have more buttons in this one you can have that buttons as well okay so and uh, what should be the action performed on clicking of that button okay warning message also you previously have seen one button okay so you can put over two buttons so these are the custom actions okay so let's see how this uh, uh to how we can um, yeah when you click on the second button uh, it will direct to some other yeah yeah you can have that one you can have you can have like that also you can navigate to another page or you can uh, uh, go to the home screen okay you can do okay but when we come to navigation then uh, you can uh, do that okay so we have not so let's see if basic uh, these things success warning information how to have this okay okay I have put this one right so I will put an uh, some input uh, uh, one in a button okay and uh, enable uh, this one I'll work okay suppose if I click this button okay I will put another button submit okay the Validating. Okay, now go to the controller and we need to have this uh, method implemented validating. So till now we are using alert right okay so instead of using alert we need to put a message box message box dot um, alert 
put the input element contains text. So I click submit here. Yeah. See, there is an error here. Okay. So and you see that message box uh, library is not found. Okay. So we need to include the message box here. So there will be one library or message box that we need to implement. Okay, that is sap.m slash message box. So this library name is wrong, it is the get still or right? Pardon me. Library names. Yeah. Yeah, so we need to buy it. No need to buy hard. So it is very simple, right? Message box. Put the message box. JSON. Put the JSON. Okay. That library is always it will be SAP slash M. Okay. So some libraries might be different. Okay. You need to know. Don't, don't buy hard it. Okay, but uh, if you Google also, you will get it. Or if you look at in the examples also, you will get it. Okay, so you see, for the JSON, sap.ea.json. For message box, sap.em. sap.em.message box. Okay. So, and now you see that error is gone. Okay, I say now submit. You see that input element contains text to Danny. Okay, let me enable and uh, you see that it will come as an alert. Okay, so that, that is because I have put alert. Okay, instead of alert, if I put message box, let's see what I can You see, information. Okay, for information, you put information instead of alert. Okay, so if, uh, uh, I say if input element dot trim equal to black. Trim means if there is a empty text also it uh, trims out that empty text okay i'm just comparing okay else information okay here i see Please enter the text for the input. Okay. Say save and click refresh. Enable input element. Delete it. Say click submit. 
Okay, I need to refresh this. Okay, enable this one. Click delete and click submit. <laughs> Both are information this way. Okay. So I need to put error. Save. Refresh. Enable. Delete this text and click submit. You see, please enter the text in the input. Okay, so if I type some, if I am giving blank spaces and click submit, still it comes. If I don't that use that trim, then uh, I I don't get this error message. Okay. Okay. Let's like likewise. It is a warning also. Okay. If you put here. Instead of error, warning, save. So you get the warning. Okay, so you have seen warning, alert, uh, info. Okay, and uh, uh, yeah, so warning alert error and info four types you have seen okay so and suppose if you want to have confirm okay so, so you see that uh, there is a di disable input button okay uh, or any uh, then you have this one right so you can say here confirm message box dot confirm I say are you sure you want to dis uh, disable the input uh, input okay save and click uh, refresh okay enable as it's asking are you sure you want to disable the input button okay and you get this okay and cancel okay but uh, here you see that i didn't click okay or cancel but here enable input uh, change enable input element okay so it because we didn't uh, expand these uh, two things actions okay so it, because of these things it is coming that one so if i click ok only then this should become a disable and enable input button should come okay so in order to the, do that we need to write this e events okay so, So I will uh, preview that in the other example. Um, action. Okay, or cancel. So if I click cancel, it all it comes. You click it cut. Okay, so for this one, okay, you have a control. We 
here we need to have actions okay so and uh, we have when you see our project we have just uh, closed here itself okay but the message box doesn't close here and we need to have put a comma okay and we need to add some more things okay so that is okay thanks so we need this one actions okay and cancel And then we need to write one more uh, actions. is a button uh, on close what should happen okay. I need to write this as well okay. the error is uh, it is showing uh, I need to put in a flower package There is a message toast as well. Okay, so I will tell you message toast as well. So, you need to put SAP slash m slash message toast. Okay. to action message toast. Okay, so, okay, and uh, okay, let's see this one. So, okay, enable and disable. You see, on click OK, cancel you got. On click OK, is saying so action selected is OK okay so that means we have selected as action is okay okay so if it is okay then i need to put uh, or since it's, i put message toast the message toast doesn't display it's a warning or error or it is it simply comes and fades away okay so i click okay it comes and then it fades away okay. it fades away on click okay, so so that is the message toast uh, thing okay. it fades away actually for after two or three seconds it fades away but here it is not fading okay but it should fade okay so now my thing is if um, if action is uh, okay okay if uh, yes action is equal to come just capital okay okay so that's why i would like to see okay so, so call caps okay, okay if it is okay then i need to enable this uh, uh, i need to perform these things 
okay otherwise no need i can stay with my original dish okay so let me save this and now okay. now i enable this and when i click disable it asks me now you see that this is not change enable input button okay so are you sure you want to disable the input button if i click ok only then it should okay so here this uh, doesn't uh, operate okay so other way we need to do is we need to use a var variable that equal to this we need to make sure okay and we need to change that this to that okay now you see it will look because we have written it's inside function inside a function okay so that's why sometimes the this operator doesn't work inside those functions okay now it will work okay so i click enable input okay then now i click disable i click okay and you see now it changed to input ele uh, input element enable so i click again disable okay now i click o oh, cancel it will it should not change okay i click cancel it will not change okay if i click okay only then the disable this uh, disable input button will be hidden and enable input button will be visible and any input text will be disabled yeah okay got the point so this is how we play okay uh, okay so uh, okay. uh, i will put in a custom button okay else I want to add uh, instead of cancel. I want to uh, put an another uh, custom button. Okay. So okay. Okay. Then put custom buttons as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here this custom button. You see, yes, no custom button. Okay. So we can put the custom button as well. Okay, confirm. We'll put confirm. Okay, again. Okay, we can put like this custom button. Just say confirm. okay I'll say here uh, I'll say yes yes action equal to confirm I say message toast dot show click confirm. C 
fill okay. this so when I click this one I get the other button confirm okay you saw you have clicked the confirm button okay Danny Okay. How to add a custom okay. button? How to for everything for all those uh, things you can put the same thing. Okay, you will get the same result. Okay, so so next one is uh, so when I disable the button, you get that uh, uh, okay. It's uh, always uh, uh, the cursor is on a okay. Okay. Sometimes the client will say, I want the cursor to be on the cancel. Initial focus we want. Okay. So you need to use this initial focus. So when you put this initial focus on cancel and click refresh okay, so now you see so instead of an ok button it is on cancel ok yeah yeah so we'll see the next type of error message. No, sorry, in the message boxes. Okay, so we want some detailed text as well. Okay. So, okay. so show detail. You will get this information. Show detail, and uh, if I click show details, you will get the detailed text information text. Okay, that is in text format. If you want in a formatted text, you will get like this in a neat way. Okay, but this feature is, a, is in from 1.4 onwards. Okay. So if we click on JSON, you will get the text in JSON. Okay. So the simple trick here they have done is, they have used the, sa the same thing, but the trick they have done is, in the message box show after this curly braces we have an detail so once you put detail that will come okay so let's see uh, details Here we put a comma and we say details. Okay, so I say here now enter some more text, enter some more text in your input field. Okay, so, say definitions. So I say enable I will not this one and you see I got a warning and then it says show details. I say enter some more text. I can remove this uh, text on the top of this blank as well. Okay, and uh, then you don't you will see that these things details. Text also. Okay, got it. Yeah, got it. So if you have some in HTML format, you can put in HTML format in JSON format. You want you can have this JSON format. This is HTML, okay, and this is a JSON. So you simply put details in JSON. You will get in the JSON text, okay. So in today's uh, class, you have learned about uh, the tables, okay, with uh, a multi header.
the setting of uh, rows uh, of fixed rows and fixed columns message toes or uh, message boxes okay fine yeah Uh, I'm unsure. Uh, stop. Share. Stop. Stop. Share. Okay. So.